It's time for a wellness revolution. Brought to you by Hotsi Health and Wellness Center. Honest discussion on maintaining health and wellness naturally to enjoy a better quality of life. He's the doctor fighting to let you keep your doctor. Now, Dr. Stephen Hotsi. Welcome to Dr. Hotsi's Wellness Revolution. I'm Stacey Banfield here with Dr. Stephen Hotsi, founder of the Hotsi Health and Wellness Center. And if you have not downloaded our podcast yet, please do so at hotsipodcast.com. That's H-O-T-Z-E podcast.com. Well, today we've got a great topic because diabetes is just one of those conditions that afflicts a lot of people. But what is the connection between hypothyroidism and diabetes? Dr. Hotze. Thank you so much, Stacy, And thank each one of you for joining us today on Dr. Hotze's Wellness Revolution. I believe that you need a doctor who has the knowledge and the ability with a staff of professionals to coach you onto a path of health and wellness naturally. So as you mature, you've got energy, vibrancy, get up and go, vim and vigor without having to use a bunch of pharmaceutical drugs. You're healthy naturally. You obtain and maintain health and wellness naturally. That's our goal for you. And we're going to talk today about a serious health problem. We're talking today about diabetes. And diabetes afflicts, now this is hard to imagine, but it afflicts, in America, 30 million, nearly 31 million individuals today, in 2018, have adult-onset diabetes. And the cost of that to society, the cost of treating these people is $327 billion, with a B, dollars every year. That is a phenomenal cost of being unhealthy. Now, why do we have so, and they're talking about this doubling over the next 20 to 25 years. So why in the world are Americans afflicted? Now, by the way, that's diabetes. One in three adults have prediabetes, and that has to do their blood sugars are elevated, in their uh, are elevated, but they're not high enough to be considered diabetic. But they're above normal, so they're pre-diabetic. So one in three adults in America is pre-diabetic. That means they're on the way to becoming full-blown diabetics. And diabetes, of course, is associated with what? We're talking about adult onset diabetes. What is it most commonly associated with? With being overweight. In fact, that's why the term diabetes was coined, was because they tend to go hand in hand. That's exactly right. Now, in the United States of America, 70% of Americans, that means 70% of you that I'm speaking with, are overweight. And that predisposes you to developing adult onset diabetes. As a matter of fact, I'd say you're overweight because you're developing diabetes. Now, half the people that are overweight, this is 35% of the population, are obese. Now, obesity and diabetes in adults, or type 2 diabetes in younger people, is caused by one thing, primarily, it's a decline in their metabolism and associated with, with a high-sugar diet. And by a high-sugar diet, I don't mean just putting white sugar or drinking a lot of Cokes in your foods. I'm talking about a diet that is consistent with a high, simple carbohydrate diet. That's pizza, pasta, tortillas, bread, chips, cookies, cakes, donuts, all the things that Americans eat all the time for comfort or because they're hungry all the time. Well, if you eat that all the time, you're going to be hungry all the time because you get sugar high, sugar lows, and you're going to keep hungry. And guess what? All those products, those grain products, the pizza, pasta, cereals, all that, cakes, they're made from grain products or potatoes or rice. All of these are simple carbohydrates. And simple carbohydrates are or sh- or sugar molecules hooked together. They're starches. So starch is a sugar molecule hooked together. And when you put them in your body, they break down into sugar. So all of a sudden you eat all this and you get a big rush of sugar in your body. Well, sugar is meant to be used within the power plants of your cells, the mitochondria, to create energy. 
but you get flooded with sugar. The 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 uh, pancreas in your body has to produce insulin. Insulin is what is the hormone that drives sugar into your cells so it can go to the power plants, the mitochondria, and produce energy. But what happens when you get flooded with sugar, your body responds by making high levels of insulin, and your cells literally become resistant to the very insulin that you're taking. It's kind of like it's kind of like if you if you had an idea, let's just say for for uh, argument's sake to help you understand how this works. If you had loved ice cream, but you hadn't eaten ice cream in three or four months, and all of a sudden you went by and said, "Gee, I'm going to go get myself a bowl of. Bro- I'm going to get some blue. I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy a half gallon of bluebell. I'm taking up. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm only going to have a bite or two. We well, one thing you take a bite. That first bite tastes absolutely delicious. Your body enjoys it. The second bite tastes pretty good too. And the third bite." But then the fourth and the fifth and the sixth, it has decreasing utility. You don't have the same enjoyment of the sixth or seventh uh, scoop of ice cream as you did with the first bite. And that's the same way it is because your body's become resistant to it. Your flavor, your, your taste buds are now resistant because you've already tasted it and they're, and they're satiated. That's what happens in your cells when the flood of insulin comes out into your cells, your cells become resistant. They hit up on every receptor and all the receptors are blocked. And now you have all this insulin floating in your blood. You've got high levels of insulin, high levels of sugar. The body doesn't like sugar floating around in the blood at high levels. It's not healthy. So guess what it converts? Guess what insulin converts? Sugar to? Fat. F-A-T, fat. That's right. It turns it into fat. And so you become obese. And now that is a big problem because now in this whole process with elevated sugar, you get cytokines produced. Cytokines are inflammatory products which cause inflammation in your arteries. It damages the blood vessels in the coronary arteries, in the heart, in the kidneys, in the brain, and you get rigid arteries because they're inflamed. And guess what you get then is high blood pressure. Now you got high blood pressure which is putting pressure on the inflamed arteries in your heart and in your brain. Pressure goes up. Guess what? You blow a gasket. You get a heart attack. You have a stroke. Or you go to the doctor, and the doctor puts you on diabetic medication, maybe even insulin. If he puts you on insulin, I guarantee you're going to gain weight. I've seen this happen over and over again. Guess what? I'm making all this insulin. I've got to have more insulin. So that insulin just drives that sugar in your body into fat. Now you've got high blood pressure. They put you on several medications for that. And now you've got some heart problems. Well, I got to give you some medication for that. Any arrhythmias, I got to give you something to lower the pressure, which affects your heart. Your kidney's not working right. And then your joints are ups- upside down because they're all swollen because you're carrying around all this extra weight. And you're getting atrophy of the brain and you're getting dementia and you're going downhill. And guess who caused it? You caused it. You brought it on yourself because you ate a high. Simple carbohydrate, sugar diet. It's nobody's fault but yourself. It's called cause and effect. The effect is obesity, high blood pressure, heart disease, kidney disease, degenerative arthritis, dementia, Alzheimer's disease, recurrent and chronic infections, bowel disorders, gout. All these things are caused by your eating lifestyle. Now, Coupled with that, if you have, and many people do in America, in fact, vast majority of Americans have, hypothyroidism. That is the thyroid hormone isn't able to get into your cells in adequate amounts, the active thyroid hormone, to enable your cells to produce energy within your power plants, the mitochondria in your cells. Every cell you've got in your body, you've got trillions of cells. Every cell has mitochondria in it, power plants that produce electrical energy. When the electrical energy is produced in low levels, you're a low voltage individual. And you slug around, you got low energy, you gain weight, you can't think clearly. Your body temperature is cold. You don't sleep well, your joint and muscles hurt, you got mood swings, your bowels are upside down, you get infections, you just feel lousy. You don't have any get up and go. If you're women, your cycles might be all messed up. You just don't feel well. And that can be due to 
a combination of low thyroid plus an improper dietary program that you're on. So what you've got to do is you've got to learn to, as Dr. Joel Furman says, learn to eat to live rather than live to eat. And also, if you have the signs and symptoms of hypothyroidism, what you need is a clinical trial of natural desiccated thyroid. So here's what often happens in people in America because We have fluoride in our water, which adversely affects our our cells' ability to convert the active thyroid hormone T4 to the, I mean, the inactive thyroid hormone T4 to the active thyroid hormone T3. If you can't make that conversion because you got a lot of fluoride in your water and in your toothpaste and all that, fluoride's a poison. It will poison your thyroid gland and your ability to utilize thyroid. You need to get some kind of filtration system, uh, reverse osmosis, or some kind of filter system that you have to to filter out the fluoride and don't use toothpaste with fluoride look on the side of your toothpaste package and it says if you crest or colgate or any of those it says on the side if you ingest any more that's on your toothbrush and swallow it then immediately call poison control or see your doctor why why would they say that why would they put something that if you swallow what you put on your tooth that's the craziest thing in the world it's the fluoride look it up in the msds material stated data sheet data sheet of the government it's a toxin. It's a carcinogenic. Don't put fluoride in your body. It poisons your thyroid. Then you, meta- then you don't produce enough energy. Your metabolism goes down. And then no matter what you eat, you can't metabolize it well. And it turns into sugar. And then it gets converted to fat. And there you have it. you got a big problem. And you're going to be sick. Now, guess what? Who's this good for? Is it good for you? Who's it good for? keeping you sick like this. And the government says, eat a big grain diet. Here's a pyramid. A lot of grain products. you got to have a lot of grain. And then then you ought to eat some green vegetables and, and then eat a little bit of meat and then a little bit of fat. That's it. It's upside down. If you eat all these grains, guess what? you got all this sugar running around. And grain products, you know, we're talking about wheat and rye and other grains as well as rice and potatoes. Throw that in there too. These products cause you to have high sugar levels which are poison to your body. Guess what grows on guess what grows on sugar? Cancer. Cancer grows on sugar. You want to get cancer, just hey, eat a eat a high sugar diet. People that are obese have two to three times the risk of developing colorectal and other cancers than, than, than thin people. Thin people live longer and you can be thin, but in order to be thin you've got to get your metabolism up. That's your thyroid. And you've got to get your eating program on a good plan. Once you do that, you can be thin and trim. Right now, I weigh about what I weighed when I played high school football in 1968 at St. Thomas High School. I weighed 67 pounds. I'm just a little bit over that right now. And I feel well. I'm 68. I'm going and blowing. I may not look good, but I feel good. And I could always get some kind of help with, with the looking good. <laughs> anyway, there's no reason in the world at whatever age you are, you shouldn't be mm-hmm. brimming with energy. And I see people coming into our center half my age that are terrible shape. They don't, they can't think clearly. They're overweight. They've got no energy. They tell me this and they're in their thirties and forties. And I know that a lot of it is due to the fact that they don't have enough adequate thyroid in their cells. I don't care what the blood measurements are. It's the symptoms that we treat here. We look at your blood levels, but we treat you based on your clinical symptoms. If you have symptoms of low thyroid, we're going to treat you and get you on a path of health and wellness. And then we're also going to get you on a good eating program. And that combination will help you overcome and prevent you from developing diabetes, which if you keep down the path you're going like most Americans, you're going to get it. Because one-third of you that are listening to this right now are already pre-diabetic. So... I'm going to encourage you and challenge you to do a 180 and take charge of your health today. And that is the good news, that type 2 diabetes can be reversed. And if you're wondering... And it can be prevented. And prevented, prevented and reversed. And if you're wondering if maybe hypothyroidism might be a piece of that puzzle, you can always go to our website, hotzehwc.com. That's H-O-T-Z-E-H-W-C.com. We have a symptom checker, and you can just see if you've got the common symptoms of hypothyroidism. And, of course, you can always call us for a conversation. 
We'd love to be able to help you. Like Dr. Hertzie says, everybody needs a coach. Everybody needs a health coach. 281-698-8698. That's 281-698-8698. Thank you for joining us today at Dr. Hotsey's Wellness Revolution. Information provided on this radio program is neither intended nor implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice and is not intended to replace the services of a physician, nor does it constitute a doctor-patient relationship. You should not use information from this radio program to diagnose or treat a health problem or disease without consulting with a qualified health care provider. If you have or suspect you have an urgent medical problem, promptly contact a professional health care provider or call 911. Dr. Hotze's Wellness Revolution radio program advises you to always seek the advice of a physician or other qualified health provider prior to starting any new treatment or with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Any application of the recommendations from this radio program is at the listener's discretion.